Hello, imaginary friends from the future. Um, this is another recording in the woods, but it's not night time this time, so I might uh, meet more people. I might do more breaks during the recording. Um, anyways, hope uh, the sound is good. I'm trying something different with the way I hold the microphone, so hopefully uh, much less pops than last time. I'm sorry for the audio quality of last time. Uh, but anyway, on the topic of today, regarding the glorious Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 game we're playing together, um, the build I'm going for today, as I called during the previous uh, video, is going to be a very big um, <laughs> kind of uh, castle. And right now you should be seeing me uh, building a little ride, like a wild mouse ride that I wanted to go through the castle. So it's not an, uh, an amazing design. It's uh, just slightly bland, like I'm okay with the beginning, the first half, but the last half is a bit... Huh. Well, let's say people are gonna enjoy it for the, the scenery ride, right? The, the experience, because it's in a castle and uh, you can imagine there's gonna be cool stuff uh, between the walls. But the ride in itself is sort of um, meh, sort of okay. I just wanted a nice ride to go around the castle, over the pass and over the shops, because uh, I thought that was fun. But of course, it limits the design. And uh, now with the retrospective, um, I could see all the things I should have uh, and could have done differently. I think the ride could have gone um, away from the pass, a little bit away from the castle, maybe over the water, a little underground or stuff like that to make it more interesting. But, uh, you know, I spent around five hours on the building, so I don't think I have the strength left in me to revisit it. So we're stuck with it. It's okay, I'm not mad at it. Could be better, but we'll do better next time. Right, <laughs> let's hope so. Give me a second though. All right, we're all good and set. We have around 23 minutes together for this build. And you're gonna see a lot of iterations going on, a lot of trial and, and error. Oh, oh my God, speaking English is hard. A lot of trial and error going on. I hope I'm not too exhausted, by the way, while speaking. Trying my best, trying my best. Oh, <laughs> help me. I am trying my best, okay? Anyway, we're going for a big square castle and you're gonna see, um, I think I did a mistake with this castle. Like the, the first big mistake I did is I, I think it's a bit too big regarding the overall size of the map, which I mean, slightly, not too much, but slightly too big. And um, I didn't want to make it too symmetric. So one part of the castle is gonna be higher than the other. And it turns out when you're entering the park, it's the left side of the castle that's bigger than the right side. So it's like the castle faces sideways. Um, to the entrance and I think that's a mistake I, th I think it should be facing the front right and also I think the four corners of the castle should have all been different and right now it's mostly one side mirrors the other so it's not like four same corners it's two different opposite corners anyway this could have been improved a little, but huh, man, it was so hard. I mean, I think it's the biggest and most complex building I've ever done through all of my roller coaster tycoon games. So that was very difficult, very long and tiring to build out of it and trying to see the, per the perspective and trying not to mess up anything. And I did mess up here and there and oh man, 
you know, also in the middle of the castle, there was the temporary platform where our little buddy <laughs> was having his bad day, walking alone, wanting to go home. And I wasn't sure what to make out of it. So in the end, it just kind of stayed there um, with like uh, some flowers, I believe. So I hope this guy is okay. Give me a sec. And so, yeah, um, <laughs> I, I think it's all right how it turned out, but I also think that if I were to start over, which I was tempted to do after building it, because it's not perfect, but I don't think I will. But if I was to start over, I think I would do something else with the middle of the plaza. I think I would build the walls of the castle shorter, not make them so high, so we can see what's going on inside a little better. And uh, I would maybe, maybe place a ride in the middle or I don't know, figure out something. It's okay so far. Could be better. Um, also, I'm placing lots of invisible shops and food um, stuff and drink stuff and the uh, bathroom and uh, info kiosk and whatever inside the plaza. So, and, you know, guests won't complain about being hungry and needing to go to the bathroom and whatever and uh, that's pretty much it you know um, i'm gonna toy a bit with the colors of a few pieces but so far it's the same orange brown and the green design and uh, that's it also i'm doing short breaks because i'm meeting people in the wood and i want to say hello to them and all and uh, I'm picking you back right at the waterfall that you could hear in episode one. So same woods, different time of the day, same dogo, same old Tirakisu playing roller coaster taken too. So by the way, for the future episodes, I have two episodes left in stock already filmed. Next one is going to be a launch to roller coaster. Very, the very simple launch roller coaster, you know, like in a straight line, just goes up, then down. And this is part of the ride that I think I have never built in my entire life. And uh, so it was interesting to play with it. I mean, there is not a lot of stuff to play with, right? It's just how big the launch is and how tall the car climbs. So I tried to make it cool. I think I had to make it shorter than what I wanted to because it was too intense. So there is like a maximum you can go for with this ride and I reached it and it's okay. It's, a, it's an interesting ride, but I think the way you make it interesting is with uh, the scenery. And I believe I have lost my dog. Give me just a second, please. All right, sorry. So dog was actually playing with another dog near the waterfall took one minute to find him little shit no joking i love that little dog anyway um, <laughs> um yeah so as i was saying the lounge roller coaster uh, is mostly made interesting interesting with the use of scenery at least i think so and the building I ended up making for it is kind of looks like a small church. So this gave me gave me the inspiration to make the oh sorry wait it gave me the inspiration to make the first sort of zone in the park the first I think I'm gonna have four corners of the park you know like little themed areas. And the first one is gonna be sort of a religious themed one with the little church. Next is gonna come a bigger cathedral. And then we're gonna see what I can come up with. 
and I know another corner of the park is going to be an antique or abandoned one with the spooky rides, old but trees and so on, like the older, older stuff, you know, like it's the old town park because things are a little old and like antique vibed. And so if you push this concept, the older things get, the more broken down and abandoned they can get. So we're gonna have, we're gonna try to have some kind of neighborhood like that. And then we'll see. Of course, we're gonna need a portion with water rides, should be fun and so on but also for the because like the, the cathedral is already built right if the little church lunch coaster is the next video we have the one coming after that is the cathedral that i've already built which is gonna launch um a four dimension coaster which i'm not so not very used to but it's a fun one and um you're gonna see, I try to play with colors a bit. I try to make a black, uh, I mean a white and a green cathedral. And in the end, it doesn't really work that well. So right now, I came back to the same design that I have for the castle, the orange and green one. I might again try to change and play with it a little. We'll see what I can come up with, so I don't know yet what the exact final build will be, but I have to try to change things up a bit in the park. I don't want the whole park to be just this one theme, right? So my goal is to keep the old school vibe going on, but to switch things up a bit so it's interesting. But I have to keep the harmony, so that's a really tough challenge for me. So that's what we have in store for the next time. Um, by the way, for this uh, castle here, uh, I forgot what I wanted to say, lol, <laughs> but <laughs> um, right now I should be playing, probably placing walls or something, like the amount of walls I had to place and trying to make everything match in the same height, it was a nightmare uh, because of the perspective and so on. I've been taking a look, by the way, at the roller coaster Tycoon 2 current slash modern scene and what people were building and so on and I found a lot of amazing stuff I should have been looking a long time ago probably but oh, you know how it is you get in and out of the game you forget and you miss how things are but uh, there is one way there is m mostly two ways I've um, noticed of how people play this game that I didn't know people did until recently and one of them is what i've heard being called as the disneyland park style which is where you build sort of front scenery stuff and then you you build sort of um, a hangar a big um, a big indoor place and you hide the um, rides in it and maybe you have a cut through somewhere in the building and you can have a glimpse of what the attraction is supposed to look like inside and uh, it's a very interesting concept like very realistic and when you view it from the top down view it looks like a kind of like a real park with just gray roofs a bit everywhere and you can see the you can see them where the magic stops so to say um, and that's not really the way I build but I'm not just here I'm not here to of course talk about the way I build because you can see that but I thought that was interesting and fun and I didn't know people built like that and also another way which I had glimpses of uh, a few years ago, maybe up to 10 years ago, but I've seen this style peak uh, quite recently, maybe five years ago, where people build things like structures and mostly roofs with uh, track pieces. They'll take advantage 
for example, of the wooden coaster to build a very nice circular roof over something, which is very, very clever use of um, game stuff to make creative stuff happen. And you know, I feel like I've seen this in quite a few games where the more creative you are in the way you use things in the game in unexpected ways to create new and beautiful things is seen as kind of a peak design or peak performance uh, very impressive building skills and it is impressive um, I must say though I'm not sure I like this style as much as other people I tend to prefer I tend to prefer the classic roller coaster tycoon design. I don't remember the name of the channel I saw, I believe it was Tiny Builds or Tiny Designs, something like that. I mean someone on YouTube making very small, sometimes tens by ten or something like that, cut through view of one ride or one place and uh, it has a very very classic design with no custom content, no trickeries, nothing crazy. I don't think the design has clippings or anything. And it looks very nice. And to me, that's kind of peak roller coaster tycoon design. When you stay classic, you stay true to the game, and you just make it nice for, uh, for the peeps and for the viewer. And not just for the pips, as in Roller Coaster Tycoon, um, as in, uh, sorry, Disneyland themed parks. And uh, nor just for the coaster design or so on. Give me a sec. Okay, so those are very nice styles. And uh, especially the... But, yeah, the classic one is probably my favorite. But that's not the one I have, right? That's not the one I use. I'm using custom scenery and clipping in order to hide shops and so on um, I don't know if I'm gonna try to go back to a more classic style because it looks very cool and very roller coaster tycoon-esque I don't have another word for it but I also really like pushing the game a little further with custom scenery and having interesting builds because like the engine of the game and the way you can place things in the little squares just like playing with it and the default objects are just a bit limiting but yeah I love, the, love those designs um, also I don't think I'm gonna try the Disneyland style as um, I'm not really I enjoy trying to build like the small rides, children rides, gentle rides and so on in a way that is nice, that is still nice in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 for the viewers, uh, for the players and uh, I believe you can do that without hiding all of the tracks in a building and without having one cut through of it um, I don't know which one is harder or easier, that's not really the point. The point is to make something as good as it can in a style closest to the original as possible and uh, try to make the peeps and the guests as happy as possible and make everyone happy, which really is the goal of a theme park. Um, what else can I say? I'm missing a few, you know, I'm thinking maybe I should try to find a nice 4x4 statue because I'm thinking this would be the best, uh, best thing to place inside the 4x4 central area with the lost peep that is telling us for how long we've been in the park. Uh, so that could be nice. That could be something I can look, look to, look for. Um, 
I had something else I should wait. Give me a second to think. Oh yeah, maybe um other one tile scenery stuff. Maybe I should look for some because but maybe even in just the regular roller coaster tycoon stuff because um as I'm building the castle um you'll see near the end I'm placing cannonballs and uh, stuff like that on the rampart and uh, except from the cannons and a few boxes and barrels here and there I don't have much to play with so I might try to find some others in order to make more scenery could be nice, could be interesting and uh, yeah we'll see what we can do next right now by the way I got out of the woods and I'm in like a place where there is children playing and shouting. I hope there it's okay in the recording. Uh, we're nearing the end of the video. Um, I'm missing just a few elements. I mean, the way I record is I build everything in almost one sitting. And then like the next time I'm playing the game, I'll watch again what I've built and maybe fix a few things, add a few things, change a few things and so which make it so that the screenshot of the thumbnail video and the last 5 or 10 seconds when uh, the game is just playing um, at normal speed uh, with a fixed camera angle to show the, the result, uh, those things can be just slightly different from what you saw at the end of the speed build because I went and fixed everything and made everything a bit better which is by the way why you can see in the thumbnail of the second video in the corner if you look carefully you can see the very roof of, the, of this castle uh, in the corner and that's because <laughs> I built uh, I built it the same day, and uh, I only went and uh, made the thumbnail and stuff for the video uh, afterwards. Uh, so maybe at some point in the future, all the things will appear as kind of spoilers <laughs> uh, around the, the building I should be working on during the video. But anyway. We're nearing the, the 23 minutes. I hope this was a nice build. I hope you enjoyed it. Tell me if you think I should <laughs> demolish it and start over because I considered it. I don't think I will because uh, I need to move on and just try to make the park as good as I can. And if I just keep destroying everything, it's not really gonna happen, especially if I destroy five hour long builds. But um, uh, we'll see. Sometimes I'll probably do it. See you guys next time, hope you had fun, and uh, yeah, see you, kisses.